Hello and welcome to Starship Sofas HQ. Today I'm going to look at three science fiction books that are getting released in May 2015. Three books that I feel we need to kind of have a look at and take seriously because they're going to be probably massive. Yeah, so I want to try and do this once a month there, just kind of new release books that's coming out just to have a little look and kind of little delve in, read the kind of blurb off them and maybe tantalise you into kind of getting some new books for the month. So, May 2015, I'm saying 2015 because the way these go, you know what I mean, you kind of, you look at these films years later. So, 2015 May, new releases. And I've got them all on my Kindle, or I've got the kind of blurbs on my Kindle, so I'm going to read from there. But the first one up is Paolo Bagiglupi's The Water Knife. And I'll give you the kind of prices as well, and bear with me, yes, I need, yeah, <laughs> it's a sign, it's a sign there. Yeah. Just start having them do this quite often now. now. So, UK prices for Paolo's The Water Knife. It is Kindle will be $8.49, hardcover $12.99. There's no paperback yet. Aud audio is sixteen sixty two, and you can get it on all your CD as well for twelve pound and seven pence. Three hundred and eighty four pages, and it's from Orbit, and I guess in the kind of in America as well, be or wherever you know, couldn't be a different publisher. So I kind of, I kind of, I don't say I know a lot about Paolo Bagiglupi, but I certainly you know read his when his novel The Wind Up Girl came out just was fantastic, you know what I mean, just kind of, it won, again, it won all the awards, was it 2010, something around there, won all the awards and was just startling, we played a couple of short stories on Starship Sova at Paolo's, but then, Paolo, for me personally, went over and did like a, a I think it was a, a YA novel and kind of, I lost interest there, that kind of, it's not my bag of fish, do you know what I mean, I think it was called Shipbreaker, and didn't do anything for me there. But now, with this water knife and the kind of description, it's sounding pretty good. I will read it for you. The American Southwest has been decimated by drought. Nevada, Arizona skirmish over dwindling shares of the Colorado River. While California watchers decide if it should take the whole river for itself. Into the fray, Las Vegas water knife, Angel Velasquez. Detective, assassin, and spy, Angel cuts water for the South Nevada Water Authority and its boss, Catherine Case. When rumors of game-changing water source surface in Phoenix, Angel is sent to investigate. With a wallet full of identities and a tricked-out Telsa, Angel arrows south, hunting for answers that seem to evaporate at the heat index soars and the landscape becomes more and more oppressive. There, Angel encounters Lucy Monroe, a hardened journalist who knows far more about the Phoenix water secrets than she admits, and Maria Villarosa, a young Texan migrant who dreams of escaping north to the places where water still falls from the sky. As the bodies begin to pile up and bullets start flying, the three find themselves pawns in a game far bigger, more corrupt and dirtier than any of them could imagine. With Phoenix teetering on the verge of collapse, and time running out for Angel, Lucy and Maria. The only hope of survival rests in another's hands. But when water is more valuable than gold, alliances shift like sand. And the only truth in the desert is that someone will have to bleed if anyone wants to drink. That actually sounds rather intriguing. Do you know what I mean? Paul has got this kind of, do you know what I mean? Just a kind of vivid, you know, imagination and a pure, you know, a little genius there when he's kind of coming to kind of writing and building up his characters. You know, like I say, when you read The Wind-Up Girl, for me, that's always, always number one, you know what I mean, character-driven stories. And, you know, early on with kind of Paolo's short stories, you could kind of tell that straight away. And so I'm hoping big things are coming of this, The Water Knife. So yes, that would be fantastic if that comes out. May the 28th over here in the UK. I'm guessing it's around about that as well in wherever else. The next one up is Seven Eves, a novel by Neil Stevenson by Borough Press. And, you know, straight away, 880 pages. Do you know what I mean? Compared to The Water Knife, 384. Do you know, it's, it's a kind of big slog anyways before you even out of the gates there. 
Kindle, there isn't a price for the Kindle, so I don't, I don't suppose it's coming on the Kindle just yet. But the hardcover is three, thirteen pound and sixty, and there's an audio as well. You know, guess they're coming out later dates as well. So I'll give you a little heads up with kind of what you know this this novel is by Stevenson's this new one. Again, excuse me. A catastrophic event renders the earth a ticking time bomb. In a feverish race against the inevitable, nations around the globe band together to devise an ambition plan to ensure the survival of humanity far beyond the atmosphere in outer space. But the complexities and unpredictability of human nature, coupled with unforeseen challenges and dangers, threaten the intrepid pioneers. Only a handful of survivors remain. 5,000 years later, seven district races, now three billion strong, embark on yet another audacious journey into the unknown, to an alien world utterly transformed by cataclysm and time, Earth. A writer of dazzling genius and imaginative vision, Neil Stevenson combines science, philosophy, <laughs> no, don't go there, Neil, don't, philosophy and technology. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping it's, like I say, I'm hoping kind of Anathem just didn't do it for me, do you know what I mean? And kind of, and it's quite funny. There's been a few, I've had a few emails since I kind of put on the kind of the, the, the worst science fiction novels ever, you know, and as you know, kind of one of them was Anathem and it always has been. Struggled a bit with it, do you know what I mean? And it's quite a few who struggled, you know what I mean, with that. But I'm hoping this is kind of getting back to the kind of roots and do you know what I mean? It's kind of, there's all sorts in there, so it's, it's sounding good. The next one coming out is Aware, a novel by Kit Reed. Now, I've read a lot of Kit Reed's short stories, but never one of her novels. And I think it's coming out in, in tour over in, in the USA. I don't think it actually probably has a publisher in the UK. Do you know what I mean? So I can't find it on the Amazon sites. And like I say, it's coming out. So fingers crossed a, a UK publisher picks it up. I don't know if it's, it's kind of over there in, the, in like Australia or anywhere else around the world but Kit Reed's the kind of writer that just again beautiful descriptions beautiful characters I'll read out 240 pages there you go tick straight away Kit gets you know what I mean I'm not saying Kit's been around the block but Kit been writing for a lot of years just put out these a correct size novel Put like I say, May the 12th, 2015, in a coastal town on the outer Carolina banks, David Rillabund and Meryl Poulant are trying to re revive their state relationship and commit to a marriage. And a slick developer claiming to be related to a historic town hero, Rawson Steele, has come to town and is buying up property. Steele makes a romantic advance on Meryl and an unusual five-year appointment outside of town with David. But steel is a no-show, and at the time appointment, everyone in the town disappears, removed entirely from our space and time to a featureless, isolated village, including Merrill and a young son. David searches desperately, but all seems lost, for steel is in the other village with Merrill. Kit Reed's where is spooky, unsettling, speculative fiction. This just sounds, you know what I mean, it sounds like one of them kind of novels you just kind of get bang straight through. So I'm really looking forward to that. If I can get myself a copy of that, that would be fantastic. Kit, I need a copy of this book. Do you know what I mean? That's, this sounds great. So three books, three science fiction books coming out in May 2015. Which one would you go for? So I hope you enjoyed a little look at what's coming out. I would like to say I'll do this again next month as well. Until next time, I would just like to say good night from me. I hope you enjoyed that show. Please. Think about subscribing. You will get the shows each and every time I release them. And why not check out the videos? Worst science fiction books I have ever picked. Oh, they're there. Check it out. And while you're on, subscribe to the newsletter. You get Starship Subas Volume 1 free. Fantastic writers in there. Just sign up for the newsletter and you'll get that.